How's it going everybody? Welcome back to what is another No Man's Sky video. Now this video is based off of a video that MZK made. So I will link his video in the description. Check that out first or after, whatever it may be. It's probably a lot better than this one's gonna be. Um, his is probably scripted. I just stand here and ramble. Um, he's got an accent, I don't. Unless you're not American, then I have an American accent, in which I do have an accent, in which you should probably stay, in which my video is probably better than his. See, we made we made it full circle. So, we're gonna be talking about the background gameplay that was behind Sean Murray at the Inside Xbox interview. Now, I did a video on this gameplay already because I was the one to find that teleporting sentinel and I clipped all of it and sent it all to people. And then people were like, no, all of a sudden, after I had already uploaded my video, this isn't new footage. This is old E3 footage of the same planet that we saw previously. This sparked a debate over Twitter, at least, about people like, no, this isn't old footage. And other people are like, yes, it's old footage. And then these guys were like, no, it's not old footage. It's just nice gameplay. Hoorah. And other people are like, no, you're stupid. And I was just sitting there like, I don't really care. It looks nice. So why can't we believe it's new footage? Or what I said in my video was that it is footage from a build we do not currently currently have access to. That, that's why I got away with publishing that video because I am correct. Whether it is next gameplay or E3 gameplay, E3 build gameplay that is, it is still a build of No Man's Sky we don't have access to. See, I worded it so I could still upload it without it being a lie because I'm smart. But MZK brought up a really, really good point that I'm kind of scratching my head as to why I didn't think about uploading a video with this topic. Uh, first, because I've got a lot of video ideas. This one was not one of them, but I'm very interested as far as talking about this topic because if the gameplay in the background of the interview is from an old E3 build, why would they use it? Because we all know that the E3 build, and by E3 build, I mean like the E3 videos and like the trailers we got before launch. That is considered an E3 build, the cool aesthetic that's super bright and super full of wonder and huge and the trees moving and the grass blowing and you know bright vibrant colors with huge creatures and huge cre trees and ponds and stuff like that. All of that is what I mean. Visual style mainly is what I mean when I say E3 build. Why put that in the background when you're talking about a new update knowing that we already haven't got that when we thought we were going to at launch that's what we thought the game was going to look like at launch like the trailers but it never did why put it there now because you know sean and hello games know that we were expecting that but didn't get that and a lot of people hated them for that why tempt fate a second time almost now this isn't on such a grand scale as the first time and not a lot of people you know Paying, are paying attention to No Man's Sky like the first time. But still, Sean must have known that the community were going to dissect that interview and everything about it. So I, I am 100% sure he knew we were going to be looking at that background. So why would they put old E3 footage there? Just because? Why not put just current footage? Wouldn't that be just generally easier? I'm sure they have E3 build footage on hand, but I'm sure they have a lot more current build footage on hand. Uh, it's, just, it's very strange. It makes you think that that is some kind of new footage that we might expect with Next. Because I don't remember seeing a teleporting sentinel in old E3 footage. Now in the lore, sentinels can apparently teleport. Somebody told me that, if it's wrong, hey. I'll have to find that person and like kick him in the shin but hey you know i don't pay much attention into deep lore because i just forget things uh much many of the games i play i don't really focus on the lore unless the lore is 100 percent in the game and i could just read it the background doesn't make sense to me for it to be an e3 an old e3 build that they were just like you know what it looks pretty let's put it up there because for almost three quarters of the show it wasn't even playing it was just a static screen so if it had to do with looks then they either forgot to press play or it doesn't have to do with looks 
I don't think it would. I don't think it would. Because they're not going to convince the people who hate it from the get-go by two minutes of a background. They're not going to. It's just so strange to me that they didn't just use current footage. That would be so much easier to come by. Why not? Why wouldn't it be than old E3 build footage? Maybe they're... I don't, I don't know. I, this is... It's, it's just very strange that MZK points it out very, very well as well. He thinks that we are going to be getting something like the E3 build with Next, but better. Now, when it comes to E3 build for me, all I really care about or I'm talking about is the visual style of the E3 build. I think eventually we can get that visual style. Do I think it's coming with Next? Not wholeheartedly. I think we'll get a visual improvement with Next but I don't think it's gonna look as good as the E3 trailers or the E3 build, whatever. I hope it would. That's what I want. I always am saying that I want No Man's Sky E3 trailers in the game. I want that sense of awe, that sense of wonder that we saw in the trailers that is absent from the game right now. That feeling of walking on a planet, looking up, being underneath trees, not seeing the sky because there's so many trees, seeing a giant dip low in a pond, the grass is blowing, the trees are moving. That immersion is what I want, and that is what we had in the E3 build, the E3 trailers. The fact that the wind was blowing the trees in that background, the grass was moving, and everything looked brighter, and things looked a bit bigger, that would be great. Just slight visual improvements and variation. I think we're going to get with this update no matter what. Do I think we're gonna get the quote unquote E3 build? Not necessarily, but I think we will get to that point eventually. So I think maybe they'll, you know, maybe they'll just focus one full update on that. Because it's hard for me to imagine the next update not continuing on or adding to exploration because that is one of the main pillars of their game. I don't know if you remember those trailers that came out, the fight trailer, the explore trailer, the survive trailer. Those were all the pillars of the game before it launched. That's what they advertised. Exploration is one of those, and for them not to expand on that with variation or visual improvements does not make sense to me, especially when they say it's their biggest update yet, an update that they've been working on for an entire year. So I say expect visual improvements. If they are E3, E3, E3 quality improvements, then great. But do expect some kind of visual improvements. And that's all I really have to say. It is very strange to me that they would use old, old, old footage rather than just current footage. I mean, I know they showed off current footage in the interview by like the trailers that you know, each update had when the, the updates dropped for No Man's Sky. I don't know. It's very strange. Very strange. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Once again, go check out MZK's video and uh, thank him for the idea. But he brought up the topic and it's an interesting argument. So I, I, I agree more with him than I do people saying it's just an old E3 build and we're not getting that ever. So... I don't know. I think I think MZK has got a pretty a pretty good thing going there. I don't know why I didn't really think about making a video on it when I heard the debate on Twitter or saw the debate on Twitter. I don't know. I'd like to know where you guys stand. Let me know down the script or down the comments. Oh my gosh, this is the third video I've recorded in a row. So hey, I'm rambling, messing up my words, slurring my words. I just got home from work. I'm tired. I drank a coffee. Obviously, didn't help. Anyway. That's it for me. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe for more No Man's Sky news, gameplay, and coverage just like this. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was just kind of chill. That's my video style. It's chill, unscripted, you know, trying to point the community of No Man's Sky in the right direction of positivity. Ha <laughs> ha. That sounded good. It wasn't scripted. I bet you think it was, but it wasn't. Anyway, I'm going to end the video because I've got another one to record. So here's to that. Peace out.